morning everyone today i'm starting another kind of vlog but also it's kind of a proper video as well i am going to glasgow today to have a meeting with boo avenue which is very exciting they're going to measure me up which i'm really intrigued about because i haven't actually been measured in about four years now and where i did get measured was mns so i've only ever bought from mns since because i know my size there and I've never ventured out of that because that is just totally out of my comfort zone and I don't like trying on underwear in shops because especially in like Victoria's Secret they bang on your door and they're like how are you getting on and I don't like that. That really stresses me out having somebody else interested in what's happening. I'm going to vlog today let you guys know how it goes and my boyfriend's going to come with me as well because we have to go over to Glasgow because there is no store in Edinburgh. So we're going over to Glasgow. Before I go, I'm just going to go through my outfits so you guys know what I'm wearing if you're interested. My earrings are... Actually, I don't know why I started with my earrings. I have no idea where my earrings are from. <laughs> Sorry. Necklace is from ASOS. Top is from Femme Lux. And I'm wearing joggers from Misguided. I originally just put them on to try them on. I wasn't going to wear them today. And then I put them on. And I haven't taken them off because they're so comfy. And then shoes I'm wearing are just like white um trainers so feeling very very spicy today very kind of like instagrammy it is pouring it's not pouring your rain it's just disgusting weather outside so uh gonna have to put jumper and jacket on so nobody's gonna see this unfortunately my room is really dark because it's just so horrible outside there's no natural light but there we go trainers i've rolled them up ah they're from the tall section so they do fit me but i wanted them a bit rolled up there's my trainers they're really kind of grubby now and then that's the top. I thought I would just have a little chat to you before my bus comes. I just whapped on my jumper. This one's from H&M. So I'm now like double nude. I'm feeling so spicy today. It's so extreme. I thought I'd just chat to you for a little bit before my bus comes. And just to let you know what I'm doing today. I kind of already told you. But I'm going to Glasgow to get my boobs measured. <laughs> I've not had them measured for four years now. So I got them measured when I was about 17 I think. So it's been a while. Obviously, I haven't like grown or anything, I'm still tiny, but um, it's really, it's always good to like keep yourself up to date and especially when you're young, you can change and your body changes, you know, between now and um, high school. I've not like gained a lot of weight or anything, but I do notice there are been, there have been slight changes in my body, so it is important to keep um, on track and wearing the right size. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll let you know what size I am, which I'm really intrigued for the last, Four years and actually forever um, I've only ever worn M&S bras I have worn Victoria's Secret bralettes they work really well for me and I really love them but apart from that the only bras I actually buy are from M&S so this is really exciting for me to get myself measured in a different store so I have a different option I'm gonna go to Boo Avenue today in Glasgow they are going to measure me and give me a set for me like mildly embarrassing and a little bit uncomfortable just because for me it's quite a private thing and I'm happy with how I look and I'm I've learned how to dress myself and how to be confident in my body but stripping down to my underwear in front of someone and somebody judging me for like what size I should be wearing and what size I'm trying on stresses me out so I'm sure the girls will be lovely there and make me feel really comfortable because it is quite a daunting experience and if you're not like very confident with your body then getting yourself measured yeah isn't the funnest maybe it'll inspire you guys to go and get yourself measured too because it is natural to be different sizes in different shops for different styles of bra you will be different sizes as well you're not going to stay the same size forever in every style in every shop hopefully this video will help you because i'm doing it today and I'm nervous. It's literally taken me four years to try a different brand because I'm that terrified of getting measured. Hopefully that makes you understand. It's taken me four years. <laughs> I'm a wuss. I'm just going in now. The shop's just two seconds away, so I'm gonna go in. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film. I'll try and maybe like do a couple bits, but if not, I'll speak to you after and show you guys what I got. I'm whispering because I don't want them to hear me. But when you're ready or if you need help, you use this little phone. And you dial zero if you need help. That is so cool. I'm out. That's the shop there. I'm in Buchanan Galleries right now. So I've just come out and I've got my stuff. It was such a lovely experience. The girl who fitted me, it was so nice. She was so fun. She made it a total nice, fun experience. I'll talk more about it when I get back because I'm walking through a shopping mall right now. <laughs> 
I've just got back and the weather is so disgusting outside. It's the most vile weather ever. I love Scotland, but the weather is absolutely honking. My hair is disgusting, so I'm gonna go and jump in the shower really quickly and wash my hair and kind of freshen up because I feel vile. Like, look at my hair, ew. And then I'll chat to you guys afterwards, so yeah. I'll be back. Okay, what's up? I am back after my shower. I'm feeling nice and refreshed now. I haven't put any makeup on for this video clip, but I'm sure you can get over that. This is my box from Boot Avenue. They also gave me a bag to carry it with, which was very nice of them. And the lady has packed it up, so I'm gonna open it for you guys. This is what the box looks like. I've just opened the top. Come with this beautiful kind of lace style tissue paper and then open it up and these are the two I can't show you this very well these are the two styles which I got they gave me two beautiful sets absolutely stunning I've never really been massively into underwear and I think that is purely because of my kind of lack of confidence with um showing off underwear I'm kind of to me underwear is a very private thing I am not going to be floundering around in my underwear in front of lots of people so I'm like why should it be really really nice if um I'm gonna be keeping that one hidden so I'm really loving this this is such a treat absolutely beautiful this one here is purple it's like, like lilac kind of color it's a balcony style bra and if you're interested it is their Emilian Emiline Emmeline balconette bra that is what that one looks like then i got this one which is kind of like a much longer line and i don't know what it's called but it looks a little bit more like a bralette because it's so much thicker but it is still a normal bra so you can see that there and that is called page long line long line yeah because it comes much further down you can see that the lace goes a lot longer which i like it makes it more of a kind of crop top and obviously i would not wear it on its own but It'd be nice to put under a shirt or something or the women actually suggested like a suit blazer kind of thing you know obviously not if you're going to work but if you're wearing that kind of suit style on a night out that would actually be really nice to put underneath so to talk about my experience first i just want to say i will link the two other videos which i've done on small boobs down in the description and I also link one about bikini confidence because I think that's quite relevant to this video as well. There's three videos if you want to watch those. I will tell you my size because I do get this question quite a lot and I was very shocked when the girl told me. So I mentioned at the start of this video I have been solely buying M&S bras for the last four years, maybe even five years, because I got measured by them, they told me what size, I was happy with it, and I've stuck to it because I've been too scared to go anywhere else ever since. And just not had the confidence to go anywhere else ever since. So when I was measured in m and I was measured as a 32C. And I think, not going to lie, I think actually that measurement that they gave me actually constituted to my shyness and my scaredness of buying from other brands. Because I just didn't believe that I was a 32C. I am very flat chested and I just thought how on earth can someone like me be a 32C? Like I am obviously a double A or an A, that is what you're kind of, you assume, you know, I'm flat, I've got small boobs so I must be on the very 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 small extreme end of the spectrum which is the A section. So when I got told I was a C, I think it actually constituted to me being quite anxious around what size I was because I didn't want to go into other shops and pick up a C cup because I felt like people would look at me and think, why the hell is she picking up a C cup? There is no way she's a C. So M&S told me I was a C, the bras actually fitted me at that size, so I thought, right, I'm just going to stick to it and I'm never going to go anywhere else ever, ever, ever because there's no way I want anyone to know that because they wouldn't believe me. I went into Boo Avenue, they measured me up, the girl was so nice, her name was Alexandra, I think they called her Alex for short, but um, so lovely, she was like probably a couple, just a couple years older than me, so, so sweet, so, like made me feel so at ease, made me feel really comfortable, she brought in so many styles for me, and I was, I felt so relaxed in front of her. Drum roll, what size did she categorise me as? I just want to mention also, um, Victoria's Secret when I was in America, about three, four years, three years ago I'd say I was in America, they told me I was a 28A and I think that again 
made me question and be so scared of going into laundry shops because I've had two very very different measurements from I'd say equally as reputable lingerie brands for very different reasons so yeah verdict of what Boo Avenue said they have measured me or the girl measured me at a 30 D D D what? And I, I was so shocked. And I said to her, I was like, I'm wearing a 32C because that's what M&S have told me. But I don't honestly believe them. I told her, I was like, I've, I'm ready for you to tell me I'm an A. But no, she, she turned around and she was like, no, I think you might actually be a D. And I was shocked, like so shocked. But I tried on those sizes. They fitted really nicely. They fitted comfortably. And she kind of explained why. So when I put them on, the wire goes, like the wire underneath your bra or in your bra it goes like that obviously so the edges this bit here you know when it goes whoop out that bit should be like right at the very very side of your ribs like nowhere near the front at the very very side and she's like you were wearing a c and the the wire the edge of the wire was actually kind of like kind of in front of your armpits it should be like at your ribs you've got to like hold the full support of the boob area i was really shocked but it made sense but i think that also brings up a really important point a lot of people do think they're an a you know people do see themselves as very small chested and they just assume bam i'm an a i have to be an a or a double a or a triple a i don't know if a triple a is a thing i'm sure it is but she actually told me she's very very like very rarely actually measure someone and tells them that they're in the A category and it's actually more like very very young um adults or like teens I guess you know like people who are like going for their first bra that's the A people like it's kind of a misconception that if you've got small chest you should be an A it's all about your kind of width and stuff actually it's not about like out the way that is exactly where my embarrassment came from from knowing I was a C and not believing I was a C and I was embarrassed to go and buy a C in different shops. That's really something that I would kind of want you guys to take back from this is go get yourself measured. Don't just assume because you're tiny or because you're much bigger. Like I'm a D. If I'm a D and you've got big boobs, then you might be like an F. But the thing is, it's not something that you should be embarrassed about. Like a letter does not define you. It's so important to go get measured. If I was genuinely walking around, like I mean a C to a D, it's not a massive change, but obviously in my head I was still thinking I was an A. So if I'd walked into Boot Avenue without her assistance, I probably would have picked up an A. I maybe would have like honestly gone home with an A cup, which is so wrong considering she thought I was a D and measured me as a D. That's just insane that I could have been possibly going into a new lingerie store and buying a new bra that I was unaware was four whole cup sizes too small for me. That's insane. But it's just that misconception of when people think they're small chested, they must be the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest size. And somebody who is a 30D in comparison to me might actually have massive boobs, but the width and the shape of like our bodies is actually the same. Like, yes, okay, they've got like more cleavage, but cleavage doesn't matter. Cleavage is like the accessory on the top. Because like, if you think about it, I guess a brow wire goes underneath your boobs so it doesn't matter how much your boobs stick out the bra wire is going underneath so the bra wire needs to be the right and then your boobs can go in and out as much as they want and I guess mine don't go out very much some people's do but we might have the same size of bra wire if you get what I mean so I hope this video was helpful I hope it's kind of encouraged you and given you a bit of confidence to go and get yourself measured and checked and get yourself the right fitting bra because it is so important. There'll be other kind of body confidence related videos linked in the description. Thank you very much to Boo Avenue for having me in their Glasgow store and to the staff as well in their Glasgow store. They were lovely, so, so lovely. I had a really, really great time. It was very comfortable, very relaxed, and I am so glad I went. And check out my Instagram to see the pieces which I was gifted very kindly in more detail. Bye guys. You fell in a pot.